and here we have it some stacks so it's the next day and i end up having most of well half of yesterday off not even half about a third of yesterday off i got home about two and slept on and off until seven o'clock in the morning so a long long time sleeping i think whatever it is is now gone i just felt a little bit sort of seasick thought it might be the start of vertigo again um but it seems to have subsided this morning so i'm going to give it a couple of hours of just walking around the house and then see what the score is because I've, I've got stuff to be doing <sighs> but yeah a lot of sleep hopefully i'm i'm somewhat past it now well i wasn't expecting to be doing any packaging at quarter to nine in the morning uh, this bundle sold for £80 plus shipping. Uh, that's the, the back of the DS. And just in case we get a return, but we shouldn't do. Uh, so someone messaged me this morning saying, look, I need this by tomorrow. Can you ship it out today? And I said, if you pay before 10 o'clock, I can get to the UPS drop-off station before 12, which is when they're due to pick up. Not a problem. Paid straight away, £8 plus shipping. I was expecting to maybe only get around 70 So yeah, very, very happy indeed. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Time to package. Right then, I've got some packages to open. Uh, considering it's got one very small card in it, it's a very big envelope. These apparently came, I think one of them came yesterday and one day before. Okay, it's in the top loader and it will do. It is a Lewis Hamilton card, gold limited edition, tops. It's in very, very good condition. So that is one for the pile, I think. Uh, and then we have this one here, which should be a Turbo Attack seven-time champion card. Oh, this does not feel like it's in protection. That feels like... Well, at least it's in a penny sleeve, I suppose. Uh, but that is, yeah, seven-time champion. Tops card. Lewis Hamilton. Lovely jubbly. So, this one cost me £2 plus £2 shipping. And then, would you believe it? This one was, was £3.75. And let me just double check. £3.75 all in. And they sent it like, like that. That's just absolutely bizarre. Um, but it's done. It's done. There's those two to one side. There we go. Lovely jubbly. And then we've got a cards mate delivery. I think it's a quad break. And I think I saw everything but the first couple. So what do we have in here? I know I've got Man United again, which is amazing. I know there's a Cavani card in here as well. Uh, but we've got Tottenham, Palace, and is that Brentford? Yes, yeah, Brentford. So let's have a quick look and see exactly. Oh no, that was second. You know, it's first, fourth, and third. Right, we'll do the first one first. So I still think that. We are still in the infancy of football cards in the UK. And these Panini Prism cards are absolutely amazing. The quality is second to none. We've got Deli Alley, uh, Regulion, Harry Kane. It's a shame that um, he's not really doing much at the moment, is he? Oliver Skip, uh, that's a rookie card. So you can see it on the top right there, it says RC. That means rookie card, which generally means it's going to be the first card um, of the first appearance in this uh, by this manufacturing set. So Oliver Skip, rookie card. Sun, got Fireworks, uh, Regulion, and a Joe Roden. Oh, that is a Prism card, and it is a rookie as well. Joe Roden. Awesome. Next up we have Brentford. So what generally happens is you pay a set amount for a spot. There's a lot of rookie cards. Oh, are they all rookie cards? They are all rookie cards. That's the best thing about getting some of the lesser teams is you never know. One day, one of these players might go on to bigger things and I would say go to Man United, but they still suck. So probably Man City or Liverpool. We've got an Ethan Piddock, Onyeka, Tony. These were rookies, by the way. Henry, Wissa, Canos, 
Oh, that's nice. That is a Henry rookie card, and that is like a a really weird yellowy prism type thing. That's awesome. I like that. I like that a lot. Just add that to the pile. Uh, then we'll do the United ones last, I think, because the the Cavani card, which you can just just see in the background there, I think that's a blue prism card. So we've got a Guata. Benteke, Mateta, I can't read that through the lens, uh, Gwehi, MacArthur, AU, and a Wilfred Zaha. Oh, that's nice as well. I think Zaha's, I think he deserves a better place than, uh, than Palace, personally. Mind you, he's probably a lot older now than what I think he is in my head. And there we go, oh, look at that, that's a big fat stack of United cards, if only they were a good team. Uh, Dean Henderson, Marcus Rashford, Anthony Martial, Cavani, De Gea, Cristiano Ronaldo, Scorers Club, Marcus Rashford, that is ironic. And then we have the Prism card, Edison, Cavani, Blue, Prism, it's just absolutely stunning. Oh, it's numbered, number 19 out of 340. That's a very, very pretty card indeed. Uh, no doubt a few of these are going to go into the grading pile, which is, um, I have to go through and show you what's due to be graded, but that could honestly be a three hour video at this stage. Right then, we have got some stuff to grab. I actually think the first lot, it's all in there, it's a lot of magic stuff. So give me a minute and I'll get it all out. So two of these Commander Legends three pack booster pack thingies sold for £44 plus shipping. Um, got one of those left, so that's very, very nice indeed. Now we'll get actually up into the loft. Ugh. And we're looking for, it should hopefully be, it might actually be in this one down here. There we go. We've sold a copy of Streets of Rage 4 on the PlayStation 4 for 19.99 plus signed for shipping. Bit of RA cost me ooh, 5 or 10 pounds maybe. Can't quite remember. Just realized I probably should have put my microphone in. Uh, we've sold the Arsenal tracksuit top only for a hundred pounds plus shipping part of a kilo bundle so in reality probably only cost me like three or four quid that's lovely we've also sold oh it, it might be in here it is technically just an adidas jumper but it's brazilian so i might put it in here because it's sports don't look like it does it Oh, bugger, 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 bugger. Where have I put it? Well, hey, found it. So it's a men's Adidas Brazil coloured trefoil t shirt from 2013, sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And likely to be the last sale of the day, these three Tomy Nintendo figures sold for $24.99 plus, signed for shipping. These are from 2015, that only cost me a couple of quid each, and it involves, uh, oh, I put, I put Bulbasaur in the title, as well as Ivysaur. It's clearly just Ivysaur, Charmeleon, and Wartortle, but they have sold. Only cost me a couple of quid. Right then, I think that'll do for today. Au revoir.